Akira Kurosawa is regarded as one of the most influential and important filmmakers in cinema history. He directed over 30 films within his 57-year career, winning many awards from acclaimed festivals from around the world. Born March 23, 1910 in Tokyo, Akira Kurosawa was the youngest of eight children and descended from a samurai family in Akita Prefecture. Heigo, his brother, worked as a narrator, called a benshi, for silent films, but when talking pictures became the norm, he began not being able to work. Hegel later committed suicide in 1933. Four months later, his eldest brother also died, leaving Akita with his three sisters. From a young age, he was very supported in his career goals and dreams and had many figures that influenced his filmmaking. His father was open to Western culture and liked movies for educational purposes, encouraging watching films to his children. Kurosawa also had an elementary school teacher, Mr. Tachikawa, who promoted Kurosawa's interest in the education and the arts. When he was 13, he went to the aftermath of an earthquake with his older brother, Hegel. When Kurosawa wanted to look away, Hegel encouraged him not to, and to instead confront his fears directly. This event influenced his films and how he would tackle unpleasant topics with them. In 1930, at the age of 20, he was conscripted but deemed physically unfit to serve, which would later allow him to avoid the World War II draft and focus on his career 10 years later. In 1935, Kurosawa applied for a job as an assistant director with a slightly joking essay. He was asked to write about the fundamental deficiencies in Japanese films at that time and how they could be overcome, and he opted to argue that if they were fundamental, they couldn't be fixed. But it landed well enough that he made it to follow-up exams. There he met director Kajiro Yamamoto, who took a liking to him shortly after. From there, Yamamoto handpicked Kurosawa despite him performing worse than others going for the position, eventually joining the PCL study, which would eventually become Studio Toho in early 1936. Over the next five years as an assistant director, Kurosawa worked under several well-established directors, but was most attuned with Yamamoto, having served under him for 17 of Kurosawa's 24 films as assistant director. While being mentored by Yamamoto, Kurosawa realized he could supplement his income from writing and selling screenplays, making more than what he was paid for as an assistant director. Two years after the release of the movie Horse in 1941, he read a novel called Sanshiro Sugata and began working on adapting it for the screen for him to direct. After Shogatit through the censorship office, the movie was released on March 25, 1943, to great success. Next, he filmed a propaganda film about Japanese women factory workers during the war called The Most Beautiful. To capture realistic performance, he used a real factory as a location, making the actresses eat the food there and use the characters' names. During filming, the actresses unified and had Yoko Yaguchi present their demands to Kurosawa. Despite their constant arguments, Yaguchi and Kurosawa fell in love and were married on May 21, 1945. Kurosawa began to pursue creating a censor-friendly film called The Men Who Tread on the Tiger's Tail. However, the Japanese censors still saw it as too Western and democratic, and consequently was not released until 1952. No Regrets for Our Youth, released in 1946, was seen as controversial as its main message was about returning and rediscovering Japan's roots. But Kurosawa's international break came with his 1950 film, La Shomon, which at the 1951 Venice Film Festival won the Golden Lion Award. The film's international success, especially in America, not only demonstrated Kurosawa's skill, but the wonders of Asian cinema as well. One of Kurosawa's films, Seven Samurai, starring Toshiro Mifune, a Japanese actor who worked with Kurosawa on 16 different films, was remade as a 1960 Western title, Magnificent Seven. This remaking into an American Western was also seen with his 1961 film, Hyojimbo, which was unofficially remade by the creator of spaghetti westerns, Sergio Leone, into Fistful of Dollars, starring Clint Eastwood. Released in 1965, Redbeard was the last black and white film of Kurosawa. It was a national success and is seen as his most complete work. In the 1960s, the Japanese film industry was struggling financially due to the boom in popularity of television, and many of Kurosawa's projects were too expensive to begin production through Japanese companies. As a result, Kurosawa turned to Hollywood. Finally, in 1968, Kurosawa started shooting Tora Tora Tora, a war film portraying the attack on Pearl Harbor. This film was unique because it would be portrayed by both the American and Japanese perspectives. However, the same issues as another one of his previous films returned, and the process took longer than anticipated. Because Kurosawa's methods did not line up with the production crew, the producer ultimately replaced Kurosawa with another director. Kurosawa's difficulty with adapting to American production style also resulted in the falling out with his longtime co-scriptwriter, Ryuzo Kikushima, and actor Toshiro Mifune. 
As a result of all of this, Kurosawa gained a poor reputation throughout Hollywood, which took a major toll on his career. As Kurosawa was trying to win film studios over to his latest work, George Lucas helped him greatly by using his popularity from Star Wars to secure funding for Kurosawa's work. In 1980, Kurosawa finally released his first samurai film in 14 years, in 1980 with Kage Musha, or The Shadow Warrior. It was a major gamble for both the film company and Kurosawa's career, but fortunately the film was a major success, both domestically and abroad. It was even awarded the Golden Palm at the Cannes Film Festival. This success helped revitalize Kurosawa's career and gave him the motivation to continue making films. Kurosawa's next major work was his 1985 film, Dan, or Chaos, which would go on to become an even more successful samurai epic. In subsequent interviews, even Kurosawa himself agreed that Dan was his greatest film. Sadly, in 1955, he slipped in his home and broke the base of his spine, which left him in a wheelchair and unable to work on films anymore. He passed away on September 6, 1998 in Seijo, Tokyo. Kurosawa helped shape the future generations of filmmaking. From being an inspiration to Star Wars and the recontextualization of many American films, to also creating techniques that would become a standard for cinema, such as cutting on motion, the origination of an opening action scene, the use of rain, big battle scenes, and his own seven samurai formula as well as a Yojimpo protagonist, it is no wonder why Akira Kurosawa is regarded as one of the great masters of filmmaking. <laughs>